Hey County Bunches, we're back with another day of eating. Uh, I'm in the thick of end of uni semester stuff, so I'm trying to make food uh, keep me well and keep me energized, but also keep it delicious because it's it's what happens in study breaks and it can be nice to have something particularly delicious. Anyway, so I get up early so I can, I can get on top of my to-do list and yeah, have a bit more of the afternoon off, um, to just, uh, switch off is the word. Um, you've seen this breakfast a number of times, it's just, uh, vanilla, protein, oats with coconut, sugar, almond butter, which does have chia seeds in it, that one, and lots of frozen raspberries on top, it's my favourite, very good. Then I usually make a cup of English breakfast tea, also seen me make a this ten gazillion thousand times and a splash of soy milk because that's the creamiest one I find. Then I usually get the bulk of uh, productive assignment stuff done by about mid late morning and then I usually have a small second breakfast and this was a vegan blueberry bagel with vegan Nutella on top with some banana coins and oh my goodness that uh, Vida vegan I can't remember the name of it but you saw it that's spread if you ever see it in Melbourne or Australia or anywhere in the world you should definitely get it. it tastes exactly like Nutella except vegan and quite simple ingredients so lunch was a bit of a hodgepodge I made a pesto vegan cheese toasty and also steamed out some of this quinoa saute tofu salad that you saw in the meal prepping type video then took it out of the sandwich press cut it in half and that was me and my mum's me and my mum's my mum and my lunch quite good um yeah, who doesn't love a pesto toasty? Very underrated, often forgotten about little magical creation. And then after that I had some leftover uh, gluten-free fudgy almond chocolate vegan brownies that I made, which were also in the food prepping video that you saw. Around 5pm I had a few, a snack, a few of these um, seaweed crackers, nothing too special, they're always good. Um, then dinner. I love this cookbook. It is so aesthetically pleasing. The photography is so well done. It's always from a bird's eye view and just it's like a collage of plentiful feasting fabulousness. So I made this sort of mushroom stew, stew which is kind of like a vegan mushroom bourguignon. I don't know how to say that. Um, but we had it with some kale chips as the recipe suggested and some mash. And while it was all bubbling away I snacked on some grapes. Because grapes are fab and they tide you over. And this is what it looked like for the three of us on the kale chips. They had nutritional yeast, lemon juice, a bit of garlic powder I think and some salt. Then afterwards I shared one of these vegan vice or wee spas, um, which is dark chocolate and coconut. It is really good. I'm so glad that main, not mainstream, but uh, those big sort of brands are making vegan options. It's very exciting and they often get them quite right. Um, so that's everything, honey bunches. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video or talk to you. Bye. <laughs>